Mr. and Mrs. Rooney, and the Lord bless you. Bless you too. Thank you so much for coming here today. I'm really, really glad to see both of you. Thank you very much, sir. Um, <clears throat> sir, the reason why we're here is because we've been married for years now. And we've tried all our best to conceive. My wife can't get pregnant. And it's worrying us, it's disturbing us. The mockery from our neighbors, from family, is too much. And that is the reason why we've come here to seek the face of God. Um, first of all, um, I want to ask you, have you both visited the doctor to check medically? We've done that, sir. We've done all of that. Pastor, you know we've been married for six good years without a child. Yes, yes. Not even a miscarriage. I can't even face my... <sighs> Pastor, you can see how disturbing we are. It's really disturbing us. We are not happy. It's fine. I understand. I really, really understand you. Okay? I can really understand how uncomfortable this kind of situation will and it's really on you. The pressure and everything. But I want you to know that the Bible says, is there anything too hard for God to do? Okay, our God is a miracle worker. That is why he said in the book of Matthew that we should come, anyone who is burdened and heavy laden, and he will give them rest. Okay? Pastor, please, I don't know. Oh, I'm just confused. We've done all the prayers. We've fasted. We've... We've it's, gone outside to give to the less privileged. There's nothing we've not done. It's okay. Um, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 60, He said, Even though thou art called desolate, the Lord will comfort thee with many children round your table. Okay? God, our Father who is in heaven, hears us. And He said, He is not called an high priest who is not touched by the feelings of our infirmities. He understands the pains and everything we pass through. I want to tell you not to give up. You should be hopeful as you see have faith in God at every single step of this journey. Okay? And at this point, you have to understand that there are people in the Bible who have passed through these circumstances and God comforted them. Hannah, Sarah, and many other people. So I want you to know that if God can do it to them, He can do it to you. Our God is a miracle worker. Yes. So, I want us to pray. All right, so okay, you can join your hands together. Yeah. All right. Heavenly Father, we humbly come to you today with our heart broken and open, knowing that you are the Father of all spirits, knowing that you can do all far beyond our imagination. Thank you, Father, for all this you in us. Thank you because you never let us to cry. For Mr. and Mrs. Rooney, dear Father, we ask, O oh God, that infertility... Pastor, is there a man? Why did you pause in your prayer? Mrs. Rooney. Yes, Mr. Pastor. Rooney. Yes, sir. I think the problem of your infertility and childishness is it's your fault. You're the cause of it. How? Cause That's of why I don't what? I don't understand. Did you remember a girl in your house? She's a maid. The Lord just opened my eyes. Emily by name. Emily? Yes, the head. Emily. Emily. The pregnant one. Emily. Yes. You can still remember. I Already, I washed them yesterday. Did I ask for your opinion? 
Did I? No, not at all, ma. I... Shut up! How dare you counter my orders in this house? I'm sorry, ma. I'm not countering your orders. I'm only telling you that the clothes are clean. I mean, I... I personally washed them yesterday. I want you, like, right now to wash these clothes. It needs to be sparkly clean, no stain. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma. Rubbish. I really do wrong. I mean, she just hates me for no reason. Still considering the fact that I'm pregnant. I start washing this clothes all over again. God. to change this channel. I don't like this. Emily! Why is this good for nothing, girl? Emily! I'm coming, ma. What are you doing? Uh, sorry, ma. I'm, I'm, I'm cooking. Get me that remote. Sorry, ma, but the remote is right in front of you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Get me the remote. Get me the remote, Susan. Get me the remote. Give it to me. Stand up. I said stand up. I'm standing up, Mama. Sorry. Are you the first person to be pregnant? Is that a baby Jesus or what? Sorry, Mama. Sorry for yourself. Go get me a glass of water. Be fast! Take the glass and get me a cheap one. You should smile because I'm helping you. I said, smile. Better. Now leave my presence. Rubbish.
What? Emily! In my house! <laughs> Emily, you're sitting down on my couch! Do you know how much we bought this? Do you, you just stand up already? I said that wasn't enough. You, you own the TV and you're laughing! Is that what I paid you for? Like where the dog stays, you sleep there, Emily. You no. Passed through that pain and her not having her baby, her child, she she plays a cost in you that you will never you will never have your baby, you will never get pregnant. Pastor, I don't know what? how to say it, but 
I treated her badly because I thought she was cheating on me with my husband. What? It's okay. It's okay, oh, Mr. Rooney. Mr. Rooney. Daddy, what, what are you saying? Mr. Rooney. No, Mr. Rooney. Emily got pregnant for her husband. Mrs. Rooney. Emily got pregnant for her husband before the husband passed on. And the maltreatment from the abuse from the husband's family was too much on her. Even before she started working for both of you. Have you seen what you've caused? Yeah. Your jealousy! Have you seen what your jealousy has caused us? It's okay, easy, easy. Sorry. Easy, 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 Mr. Rooney. I was only trying to protect our marriage. Protect what marriage? Mr. Rooney, the blood of the innocent unborn child cries for justice. And you should know that blood is a very important component in the spirit. And that blood has the pain and everything has placed you and I'm making you not to get pregnant. Pastor, please. Oh, what do oh we do? What do I do now? What's the meaning of this? Assumptions are costly. But the Bible says, we have mercy on whom we have mercy on. And compassion on whom we have compassion on. Okay? Pastor, what are we going to do now? What should we do? Tell us. We, we have to. We have to seek for. In the book of Psalm, he said, "We arise and have mercy upon Zion. Yea, the said time has come to favor her. God can do anything. I don't want you to be very emotional. Okay, you allow your jealousy and insecurity cloud your judgment." You and lived in assumption. Did you overreact to that? Did you remember that I was the one that pushed her? Mr. Do you Rooney, remember? Mr. Rooney, the only thing here we are going to pray. I would know God we have mercy, but oh my God. both of you have to look for Emily. You have to look for her. I don't know how, but you just have to look for her and beg for her forgiveness. I'm ready to do anything. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm ready to make amends. Pastor, don't worry. We will search for her. I will make sure we'll find her. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to pray for you. And I know that God, our God, is a God that answers prayer. Yes. He said, Call upon me in the days of trouble, and I will answer you. Okay? Do you understand? Yes, Pastor. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 24 that the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. Okay? The Lord is the one that gives. Alright? Everything, anything in the earth, the Lord gives.